guy in our church, um, his wife was sitting in the service the first time we put the cross up and put the post-it notes up. His wife is there and one of her best friends says, why don't you put the name of your husband on the post-it note and put it on the cross? And she said, no. She said, I refuse, she, I mean, never mind refusing to invite, she wouldn't even do, she said, no, there is no way my husband will ever become a Christian, I'm not even going to bother. And the friend said, I'll tell you what, I'm writing his name down and I'm putting it up there for you. Put his name up there on the cross, prayed over it. One week later, the husband's life sort of fell apart. He started coming to church. Principally, the only reason he came to church was because he realised that his marriage might be over and he thought, well, if I come along with my wife, maybe she'll stay married to me. This all happened after the post-it note. He then said, can I come and see you? I come from a very abusive background and he'd heard from someone, if you talk to Jason, he might be able to help you. He was struggling with that. I sat down in a Tesco cafe with him thinking, who's this man? And he sat down, burst into tears. I'm a charismatic, so the Holy Spirit was on him. He goes, what is this? I go, this is God. What's God? He's been baptised since. A post-it note that was prayed on led to a man who wouldn't be a Christian to be a Christian.